Let me tell you. Dog, you doing that to a girl True. is some corny I sh can see that. You being that Michael B. Jordan today. Uh, allegedly sexiest man it alive my, in all of these my, blockbuster movies I agree during your highlight week. You've probably never been more visible than you are right this second. And that's what you do to her. And if I bring back them white girl rumors, then it's going to sound even crazier. <laughs> then it's going to sound crazier. Because why are you talking to our sisters like that on the red carpet? We only talking to white bitches like that. But I'm not gonna make it racy. They say I make everything racy. Mm -hmm. That was corny of him to speak to that girl like that. I'm not disagreeing. I would I would have made Michael a joke. B. Jordan. That's why I I call you corny. Off air. I would have made a joke off air like word. Hey Creed. You know hey, what's what this name? I wouldn't have did it. In front of hey that. Creed. <laughs> in case you were confused, that corny ass you did is why you think you corny. Yeah. In case you were off a little bit mm -hmm. as to why you keep thinking that money hides corny. Mm. Takes him down inside. I think that Michael B. Jordan is just like a nice, corny guy. And I don't mean that as a slight, right? I mean, we all know that the nice, corny guys treat you the best. You know what's so crazy? I went to school with Michael B. Jordan at a point in life, and we went to Chad Science together in Newark. And to be honest with you, we teased him all the damn time because his yeah. name was Michael Jordan. <laughs> like, let, like, let's start there. And he was no Michael Jordan. And then he also would come to school with headshots. And back then, that was like in in the hood. We lived in Newark. Yeah, like that. That's the hood. You know what I mean? So, it, we would make fun of him. Like, what you gonna do with your little stupid headshots? Like, and now look at <laughs> and him. Now look at him. He got the like like money. <laughs> well, yeah, I didn't exactly. So we got Michael B. Jordan, the director mm -hmm. and the star of Creed Three. And you know, we know each other. We go way back, all the way to Chad Science in Newark. Okay. What a corny kid, right? <laughs> no, I did not say that. Misquoted for sure. No, you did not hear me say. I said we used to make fun of the name, but yeah, he is obviously. Yo, yo, what's good? You already know what it is. Make sure you guys give your praise due to the Most High Yah. Also, man, like subscribe on the video. Gonna help the channel grow a lot. And make sure, guys, listen. All you have to do is. Follow my Instagram. All I ask is that you like and subscribe. Follow my Instagram. Real simple. So listen, y'all. As y'all seen the clip, your button is just showing y'all the stuff that I'm always talking about. You know? Y'all just notice how, you know what I'm saying, old heads just hate on you for no reason at all. Have y'all ever noticed that certain old heads, man, just really got a disdain for you for no apparent reason at all and um joe budden shows you know a prime example like think about this y'all old as joe budden is like years ahead of michael b jordan as joe budden is why in the hell are you agreeing with a woman that had this ridiculous ass take think about it for a second the woman explains in the end of the video of why they called him michael b jordan because they said his name was similar to Michael Jordan. Like, I really had to pause that because the, I want y'all to really understand something. I want y'all to listen to what I'm saying so y'all can understand. The woman literally said they called it corny because his name was similar to Michael, B. J Michael Jordan, the basketball player. Now, Think about this for a second. You have another grown man agreeing with that. Do y'all not understand the hate behind that? This is a prime example. He did nothing wrong. If a girl come up to me that was rejecting me in the past, making fun of me in the past, saying whatever about me in the past, and now she coming up to me saying something, you damn right I'm going to tell her. Oh, you said this about me then, huh? Well, not even like that, but, you know, oh, I used to be, I used to be corny, huh? Something like that, you know? I say the same, same damn thing. That's a part of being masculine, confrontation. You letting it be known. You know what I'm saying? You got content creators out here that's the same way. I'm telling y'all, man. These old heads. These old heads are very great examples of how they will challenge 
the handsome man. They will challenge him. That's why a lot of content creators, man, they be talking stuff about Michael B. Jordan. All they doing is challenging them because they hating on them. Men are going to challenge you for no reason at all. Have you ever noticed that you could be somewhere minding your own business, living your life peacefully? A dude with a girl come around, now he's staring at you. Or have you ever noticed this good one right here? If you ever noticed an old head with his wife, his wife is just looking at you up and down. And you looking, you have no choice but to look and make eye contact. Not even that you want his woman. But soon as the old head sees you, now he's staring at you, looking at you up and down, getting irritated. Like, bro, I don't want your damn wife. You a damn simp for dealing with the woman. Because you typically live with your wallet. And so this is why you're getting this result. This is why your woman is doing this because your woman never found you sexually desirable. You know, your woman is giving you the cold shoulder for years now. Your woman just finding that she's digging deep to sleep with you. But this is why these guys just challenge us for no reason. Like you just be somewhere chilling. And the guy just stare at you because his girl around. Just be standing, no, no reason at all. Just stare at you because his girl is around. And just like I'm telling y'all about Joe Budden. Do y'all not understand how feminine Joe Budden looks right now? Joe, Joe Budden looks like a pure... I can't even say it, I want to say. But Joe Budden literally looks like a you-know-what. You are agreeing with this crazy crap that this woman has said about this man that makes no sense at all. I'm telling y'all right now, you have to deal with this as a handsome guy. You're going to continuously get challenged. I had one dude that I never spoke to a day in my life. Never spoke to. Y'all know when you go to a park, you play basketball, pick up five and five. You know, you're going to see some people you've never seen before. You're going to talk to some people you've never talked before. So this guy that was up there, I've never seen him I got the charge notification, but I've never seen this guy a day in my life. And um, this guy was literally challenging me for no reason. Hating on me for no reason, guys. Simply because he was jealous that I had a nice body and that I was good looking. This guy literally said out of his own mouth. Like, one of the key things that I noticed in this guy, I knew he was insecure and just was a, a lame ass dude, a lame ass nigga is he first came to the court just randomly joning people. And, you know, he tried to join me and everything, and everybody started laughing at the joan that he said about me. And I was just looking at everybody standing. On, I just I just did the laugh like, ah! like telling everybody around the court that y'all look like a damn goofy idiot fool laughing with somebody that's feminine, insecure, somebody who's so so in tune with just being a damn hater that you have to go out and challenge random people who nine times out of ten the, the average woman the beautiful woman is going to say that man looks better than you he's more well put together than you but you want to go challenge him because it makes no sense y'all how really insecure men are you know what i'm saying dudes are so damn insecure that they just can't stand to see you shine you know, that's why they challenge you because they you doing something that they are not like really look at that clip. Rewind it. Look at how bad. Like, I want you all to understand some only handsome, attractive guys, only guys of value will really understand this perspective of life. You feel me? Because if you bring in value to life, <clears throat> if you are handsome or attractive, something like that, bring a value to life, how value male. You understand this, you know, because you deal with it frequently. And um, just look at how, just listen, guys. Y'all got to understand how feminine it is what Joe Budden is doing. Like, y'all got to, y'all dudes, y'all old heads, um, your dudes is hating. Y'all got to understand something. The more and more you challenge these men, the more and more you hate on these men, y'all got to understand something. Y'all are steering the women towards them. Y'all are giving them the 
green flag with women. Y'all are doing it because when a woman see, okay, this man is challenging this man. Okay, this man is testing this man, whatever. Nine times out of 10, that woman is going to get curious about that man. And, oh, this man must be popping. And you're basically giving your woman to that man. You know what I'm saying? That's why I disagree with any type of hate content on Michael B. Jordan on this space because it's made out of pure hate, you know? And nine times out of 10, man, it's not even a legitimate reason. Think about it, y'all. Just think about it. This dude literally is saying he agrees with what this woman is saying. He's agreeing with it. I'm telling y'all, man. But like I was telling y'all about, you know, this guy that I never, I've never seen him a day in my life, y'all. But he insisted on challenging me. You know, saying that, oh, you done done all this work with your body, but I bet y'all can still pull more girls than you. Where you working? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, bro. Like, bro. Whole time he's saying all this, and he fat as hell. Got rough ass dreadlocks. Look miserable as hell. Saying all of this. Just because I'm ripped, handsome, in shape. Clean ass cut. Nice ass car. Now you hate telling y'all man i am telling y'all and um also man y'all gonna be seeing a lot of cuts throughout the video because i am at work so yeah let me cut it real quick right now so yeah yeah so yeah guys this is why i tell y'all to limit your circle i can't hang around these fat ass dudes think about this y'all i had one friend i used to deal with he literally told me i keep in mind he's overweight he literally told me this is exactly what he said Oh, well, man, you don't need to get that big. You get too big, bro. You need to start lifting weights. And you fat as hell. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is what men will do. They'll say, oh, you need to stop lifting weights. You're getting too big. And they fat as hell. They way overweight. The scale been said, nigga, get up off of me. You know what I'm saying? The scale been told them that. Meanwhile, the skill looking at you and said, well, damn, I'm impressed. But the skill looking at him saying, oh, get off of me, man. I can't handle this much weight. You know, you about to take up my capacity. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is the type of stuff I tell you guys about. This is why it's not talked about enough. This is why it's becoming so popular. Because people will sit here and challenge and hate on you all because of how you look all because of how you carry yourself all because of that it don't have nothing to do with them it's not bothering them but because they are so insecure because they understand they're not going to get to that level in life they don't want to put in that work you know and a lot of this with men is rooted in the fact that they can get the attention from women without doing these external things like paying money and chasing her validation stuff like that man it's just what it is but y'all gotta be aware of this because this is what's going to happen this is what we are going to deal with you know and you have to be very mindful of who you are around i'm telling you this so yeah man didn't want to hold you guys for too long if you did enjoy this video make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you're new comment down below and i'm out